Well, hi friends, I'm Brian Cosby, this is Provide and Protect, and today we're looking at the top 50 things that every homesteader needs. You know, homesteading is using your property so that you become more self-sufficient and you're not having to rely on the goods and the services of the things that you need. And we've already taken a look at 20 of the top 50, and today we'll take a look at the next 10 in this third part of the series. But before we get into today's list, if you've not already done so, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate you and your support. With that, let's jump right in. So I think the first thing in our list today that every homesteader needs is chickens. And we have these chickens here. We've been raising chickens for about 10 years now. And we move this netting around to different parts of our property. And you can see they eat all the grass in this electric netting. This is just a, a solar powered uh, netting here. I'll drop a link for that down below. But they're super easy to take care of. Uh, obviously they provide you with eggs. They will take care of the bugs and ticks as you move them around. Uh, they will take care of all of your waste from your kitchen as well. It teaches children responsibility of taking care of something else. And so the kids, they take care of uh, our chickens. Um, and so it's been a wonderful part to our homestead. They're pretty funny and kind of fun to watch out here. I like their noises and sounds. Uh, we do not have any roosters right now. We have had roosters in the past. Sometimes roosters can be a little aggressive. We've had different kinds and breeds of, uh, you call it breeds? Different kinds of chickens over the over the years, 10 years or so that we've had them. And we've just uh, kind of landed on these Buff Orpington and these Rhode Island Reds. We, they're just really good with, with kids and they're fun. They will come up to you and <laughs> anyway, just a, a great addition, I think, to any homestead. And again, this is one of those areas uh, in any homestead that you're trying to become more self-sufficient. And we actually will sell extra eggs, especially during the summertime. And, and when it's lighter outside for longer, you can take the extra eggs and sell them as well. And we've had as many as 40, 45 chickens at one time. That was too many for us. It was just so many eggs every day. Uh, but uh, made this little, they call it a chick shawl, and I'll leave a link uh, for that down below as well. Chick shawl, we just moved that little thing around and super, super handy to have. So there's nesting boxes. I'll bring you around over here see right here and what we do is you just pull those they're just milk crates pull them out there's a chicken in there right there you just pull them out and get uh, get the eggs and super handy so anyway we really appreciate this this little setup this design and we've had it for a number of years now and it's it's held up we have some blocks on top because sometimes in really bad storms uh, top blows off but chicken's certainly going to make the list here today so the second thing on our list today is some kind of livestock, uh, whether it is goats like this or sheep or maybe even a, a milk cow. And we've got uh, got a number of goats. We actually have one that's pregnant right now and should be delivering today. And so we have we have this kind of paddock space out here and it goes to the back of our barn. But there's so many benefits to having something like goats. And these are Nigerian dwarf goats. So they're smaller, they're e easier to handle, especially for children. And they're so funny. We love watching the goats. They're having their breakfast uh, right now. But uh, we've put little different colored collars on them so we can tell them apart. But uh, we, we love them. And not only can they provide milk uh, for you, they can, I don't know, eat down some of the, the brush and things that you don't want around your property. But they have been a great, again, a great addition to our homestead. But I think if you want to provide that milk or cheese or yogurt or anything like that, this is one of those things that you can have. And I think there's other, other benefits uh, with it for just teaching, again, like the chickens, teaching responsibility uh, to, to children. So yeah, some kind of livestock, I think a, a good necessary thing to have or at least consider for any homestead. So continuing with the animal theme here, uh, certainly having a couple dogs, I think would be a really important part to any homestead and we love these great Pyrenees. They are livestock guardian so for our animals and we have a lot of uh, well we have bears and we have coyotes and all other kinds of stuff out here and so they protect our other livestock and also our family and they will alert if or alert us if there's someone up at the gate and they're great, just great companions uh, to have I think around any any homestead. And so we've been having, well, I guess this is our second pair of, of uh, dogs of Great Pyrenees. 
and they're great with the kids. They just got a great personality. Um, they're just a lot of fun to have, but also important for keeping your family and your other animals uh, safe. Isn't that right? <laughs> so I think a fourth thing that every homesteader needs is a garden. This is a family garden, and this is not a big garden, but we can do a lot with it. And uh, my wife mainly, <laughs> and my children also take care of the garden. And we've been harvesting quite a bit of uh, produce and growing quite a bit of different things, and tomatoes and broccoli and squash. And um, this is just one of those essential things. And we've been doing canning uh, lately, the last few years. And got some big blueberry bushes over here. So just some potatoes, I think, are in this thing. So anyway, it's just been, I think, one of those essential things to have and again the whole purpose is that you are less dependent on others in providing food and you know if there ever came a point where it'd be tough to just go and buy food at the store if there's some kind of disruption in the I don't know the system <laughs> and to be able to to have your own food to grow your own food uh, we could certainly expand this garden we've got a whole pasture way over there so you know, we could obviously use that space as well. But, you know, there's a, there's a channel, I think he's out in California, Growing Your Greens. And he doesn't have a very big space at all, very tiny space uh, of piece of land that he has. And he can grow a lot, a lot of food. So uh, you don't have to have a big space if you plan it out well. But we've been doing garden for a number of years and just found this is a, a fun thing to have. And certainly it's something that's satisfying when you can go out, get your own food, and bring it back in and, and have dinner with it. So uh, certainly having a garden is gonna be one of those things I think every homesteader needs. So I think the fifth thing that every homesteader needs, uh, they need pallets. <laughs> uh, we use pallets for all kinds of stuff around the homestead. Uh, here, just a simple, I don't know, something that our goats can jump up onto and, and uh, they like to be elevated. But that's, I mean, there's so many other purposes. We use pallets when we're stacking firewood and on the base of our, our firewood area, we have pallets to keep the firewood off the ground, stuff like that. We build things out of them, and they're cheap. I mean, a lot of people, if you look on eBay or maybe Facebook Marketplace, you can find these for free or 10 bucks or something. And because of how they're made, they're very strong and they last a really long time. So I think having pallets around, it's just kind of like, it's kind of like having fencing and having cinder blocks, some other things that we've already mentioned in this series, just having on hand and when you're trying to build something or do something to have those as options uh, actually helps you with the creativity and, and giving you the ideas of what you can do. So I think, I think pallets is certainly one of those things that every homesteader needs to have. I think a sixth item that every homesteader needs to have is firewood. You may not have a wood burning fireplace or a stove but uh, certainly if you want to be able to have other fires around or be able to barter or to give firewood to neighbors or friends, if they need it, stay warm in the wintertime, then having firewood I think is one of those things that every homesteader needs to have on hand. Now we have a wood burning stove <clears throat> and we use firewood for heat uh, during the wintertime, obviously. So uh, having this available and ready to go and so we prepare in advance we try to and of course we just went through a winter so this is kind of depleted over here so we'll be building that back up but you know I have a video on these uh, these kits that you can build they're actually it's just these metal metal kits here and you can put some two by fours and I'll drop a link for that down below but they're really helpful just put a piece of roofing over the top and this can stay dry under here and yet still get air and dry out. So um, anyway, so I think uh, certainly firewood, go make the list here today. So I think a seventh thing that every homesteader needs to have is a good ladder. Now you're probably gonna have your normal step ladders, but I love this little giant here because it's so versatile. You can use this on stairs. It can have, uh, you can have one side that's taller, one side that's shorter. You can actually click these in and open this all the way out uh, to just being completely flat and then just lay that up. So if you have anything, uh, roofs, anything that's tall that you need to get up onto ever or to do projects, I use this every day when building this barn here. 
uh, behind me. But having a, a ladder like this for doing painting or cleaning out gutters, I think it's just an essential thing uh, that every homeowner needs to have and, and homesteader. And so I'll leave a link for this one down below. I love this ladder. It is pretty heavy. It's pretty beefy. Uh, it's the only downside probably to this, but it stores up really nicely. I can click these in and this just stores up like this. I can just put it against a wall. But just a, a great, I think, addition uh, that any homesteader just needs to have. I think an eighth thing that every homesteader needs to have is good friends. Uh, you need a community and friends uh, to be a homesteader. And I say that because there's been so many times where I'm doing a project or I need help or there's an emergency and I need to call some friends uh, to come and help me uh, do something and take care of a problem, take care of a threat. And I've been so grateful for the community that I have, whether that's in a church, I'm a pastor and an and so uh, I, have, I have a lot of friends uh, in my church, and they are always willing and happy to, to come and give a hand. And I want to do the same uh, for them as well. And so whether we need help with some of the animals, uh, clipping wings, or helping with the, the goats, or doing any kinds of projects like building things, having a community of friends is, I think, just essential. Uh, this is not just one of the things even to consider. I think this is just one of those essential things for any homestead or really any person. We were designed and made for community and not to be alone. And I think in all the world of social media and internet, we are good at presenting ourselves in a certain way, and yet we're so lonely. And so to cultivate now those friendships in that community so that when something does happen that's, that's tragic or bad in your life, and, uh, and it's not in that moment, where you can just call someone and expect them to be a good friend. You gotta cultivate that now uh, and so that you can have and reap the reward of, of the benefit of having friends and a community when something goes south. But uh, certainly gonna make the list today is, is having some good friends, having a close community. So I think a ninth thing that every homesteader needs to consider having is just shelving and organization. I love being organized. It's not very organized uh, maybe right now, but I love being organized and having things where they need to go, putting them in their proper place. Uh, so whether it's shelving like this or even having you know, bins like this up here, it's not one of those things that you really want to invest money in, uh, having bins and that kind of thing. But you know, over here, we've got all these nails and screws. This whole shelf is just nails and screws. And, but having these bins and being organized, and so when I'm in the middle of a project and I'm trying to figure out where something is, I just know. I just know where those things are. So whether it's having shelving like this or over here, take you over here, being able to just hang up some tools and having them ready to go like this, but just being organized and having, having shelving, knowing where everything is, and I'll, I'll uh, drop a link down to some of these shelving units that we have over here that we found just really, really handy, really handy to have. So um, certainly going to make the list today is uh, shelving organization. So rounding out number 10 today and keeping with that organization and cleanliness is a good shop vac. And I have this uh, little DeWalt one that I keep in my shop. And it's just so nice uh, to keep things picked up and, and cleaned off and it obviously comes with attachments and Always good to probably have some extra filters around as well, but a good you know, dry, wet shop vac is uh, I think one of those essential things to have around and cleaning out vehicles, cleaning out a shop, just keeping things picked up and tidy. It's certainly something that I enjoy having and uh, just makes me feel better about my day when things are kind of cleaned up and picked up. So I think a, uh, a good shop vac is something that I think is essential for any homesteader, uh, homeowner to have. Well, I hope this has been helpful for you today, and if you have ideas that you think should be included in future videos in this series, please drop those down below, and if you've not already done so, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate you and your support. We'll see you on the next video.